Hello, welcome to Minister Trails, my name is Stuart and welcome to a very quick review of the latest SBG magazine. Now, Damien and Tom, who run the magazine, have very, very kindly sent myself and my co-host on out of the frying pan, which is a Middle Earth strategy battle game podcast I do with my friend Dan, um, sent us both review copies. Dan will be doing a it's probably a slightly longer video, which will go up on the Out of the Frying Pan YouTube and we'll no doubt discuss it in our next show as well but i thought i would do a very very quick review and post it up on on miniature realms as well now i know many of you um, are here for the historical gaming side of things but i have added a few middle earth related videos along the way including a previous video at some point last year on sbg magazine itself that explains a little bit more about what it is as a whole showed you some of my sort of back issues, so to speak, because this is issue 12, um, and talked a little bit more about what it's all about. But um, if you haven't seen that, I'll pop a little link in the show now, so you can go and click on that. But essentially, if you are interested in Middle Earth gaming, especially Games Workshop's Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game, 28 millimeter uh, Middle Earth gaming, or even you just love all things Lord of the Rings, um, I think you'll enjoy these magazines. Now, they are fanzines. They are produced by Damien and Tom. Um, they do it all themselves. They're not making um, very much money, if any money at all, out of it. They do it for the love of the community and the hobby, and it's something they just want to do. It's part of their extended hobby themselves. So there's no barcodes on it. It's not going to be available in any high street news agents or, or supermarkets. You have to contact them directly to get it. There are links in the show description. Uh, there's an email address which you can contact them on. And all purchases are made via PayPal. And the, the price varies depending on where you are in the world. And as I said, they do they do small print runs. So they, they're a little bit more expensive than, than a, a magazine you may pick up in, in the supermarket or so. But aside from that, what kind of things do you get? Well, you get a full colour magazine. They spend a lot of time putting this together, sorting out the layout, um, editing it, re-editing it. Um, they produce the content themselves or they have guests it, to write articles or provide things as well. And we'll see when we flick through. And it is going to be a quick flick through. Um, so that's the, the people who are writing in this episode. And Damon and Tom are the, the runners of the magazine itself. Um, and then there's usually a kind of, it's not really an editorial, it's more like a feature. Um, Damien writes, um, and then you've got little sidebars from some of the contributors this month. There's often a Tactica. Um, now this is by Harry Parkhill, who's got his own YouTube channel, Battle Games in Middle Earth, and Entmoot podcast, worth checking out if you like, Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game. Um, and then there's sort of more special articles and things. Um, and then we have a painting article, um, and this is by Kev. Um, and then there'll be a modelling article as well, usually as well. And this is by Dave Fredericks. So there's some there's some lovely stuff that kind of harks back to the um, earlier days of White Dwarf, when you've got a real mix of hobby and battle reports and stuff. Which brings me neatly onto this, which is usually the feature of the magazine. So this is an article about. Um, gaming during lockdown a little bit so um, last year or well, previous year actually at the beginning of lockdown Games Workshop released in my opinion what is their best supplement for Middle Earth Strategy Battle game something called Quest for the Ring Bearer um, and during that point we couldn't all get together and game and I know Dan and I did lots for our audio podcast reviewing, reviewing some of the scenarios and playing games and putting pictures up and things well Damien and Tom played lots of Zoom games um, they also did their own kind of journey for it in the magazine, including um, a big battle report with pictures from the game. And they go back and recreate those pictures and points from the game and end up with a proper professional photo shoot for the models. Um, and really put together these, well, beautiful magazine in my opinion. Much better looking than many um, smaller companies' rule books that you get these days. So lovingly put together. I won't flick all the way to the last page because it will give away who wins with the battle report. And, um, and those of you who want to, to pick this up, we don't want that to be spoiled. But there you go. That's the idea of what you get for SPG magazines. If you're a lover of Middle Earth stuff, and there's going to be a lot of Middle Earth's love at the moment with the Rings of Power releasing on Amazon, um, it's well worth checking out. So check the links in the show description. Thank you, um, Damien and Tom, for sending me a review copy. I'm looking forward to reading the rest of it in full detail myself. And I do recommend checking it out. So thanks very much for watching. Take care, guys, and I'll catch you soon.